What is up YouTube, Mike here from Techno GI, and it's been quite a while since I made a video, but uh, I got a case in the mail that I ordered uh, direct from UAG. Uh, it's not a sponsor, I paid for this. Uh, this was about $89, I think, 80 bucks on their website. It's also showing that it's on Amazon, but just not available. So if you want it now, you gotta go to the UAG website. But let's uh, do a quick unboxing, and uh, we'll snap this on and see what we think. But as you can see, it's standard packaging. I mean, nothing fancy, but uh, it is nice packaging. So let's take this out and see what we got in the box. <clears throat> and really with the Surface Book, because Surface Book is essentially a laptop. I mean, that can serve as a tablet. Do you really need a case per se? Not necessarily, but uh, you can see it comes in two parts and this is um, it's hard to tell, but this is glass all the way through, or I say plexiglass, like plastic, but it doesn't go through. And uh, this is obviously the top piece. And what uh, kind of intrigued me about this is it's got a slot for the pencil, where the pencil goes on. So it comes in two pieces. So here's your first piece. And of course, it gives you all your ports. And as always, some directions. And this is what the bottom looks like now. This hinge, it looks like it's semi-flexible on here. I'm still kind of curious how this works, but this is the bottom. And uh, these slots are not open, even though they look like it. Um, so I guess it's just decoration. But uh, it seems like fairly good material, plastic. So let's see if we can't get this thing on. So I gotta fire up my Surface Book, not in picture, in order to uh, separate it to put this thing on. Here is the pencil, which is one of the cool things I like about this case is you can put your pencil in there or surface pen. So to me, this will obviously be more secure than um, the magnetic on the side. So let me detach my surface book so I can put this on. Bam. So here is this. Um, I'm not really reading the directions. So I'm just going to slide this thing in here because it should be fairly common sense. Uh, got to use some force, as you can see. Take the pencil out. Get it seated properly. And there's the top portion. As you can see, you've got access to all your vents and your ports. Uh, which is good for cooling. So again, vents, headphone jack, all accessible. Let's see if this will slide a little bit more. Oh, that's about the extent of it. It doesn't to me look quite like the um, headphone jack should go up further, I should say. But anyways, that's that. So all in all, it went in fairly easy. We'll put the pencil back in here. And it doesn't really add too much bulk. Um, I do like the way it looks because you can still see your logo and all that. So um, I do like the design. Um, it looks like it'll give you just uh, drop protection on the edges. Obviously not on the front of the screen. I mean, unless it falls and it hits these so it prevents the screen from contacting. But uh, it feels like it's in there pretty good. Um, I think I've got it seated all the way. So the best way to find out is take the base and put the bottom on. So this one is a little bit different. Just try snapping this rig in here and see what happens. This is where uh, directions are usually a, a plus but who wants to read directions? All right, so it feels like I've got it in here. It's like a little metal thing here, which I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I've got it on there. And maybe this is, as you can see, this hinge, I guess it just, it'll flex. Uh, like so. And there's a little metal rod that just popped out. Pop that back in. Which I guess that goes over top. Alright, I think I have it in there. 
all my ports are accessible and I think that is it because it doesn't go any further forward so let's see what happens when we dock it All right, I had turned it off when I was forcing everything. All right, I think I got to get the top to slide a little more. Um, but as you can see, I do have it on there. Um, I'm not quite sure the top is seated all the way, so I'm going to have to tweak this. But um, when you close it, it does grab so it doesn't fly open and you can see uh, the hinge obviously is not attached and that is so um, you can detach it obviously but once I think I get it seated okay uh, this will be kind of a cool case I do like the way it looks um, so oh yeah opening it I gotta remember you gotta press on these tabs to open this thing but I don't know time will tell I will do a um, larger follow-up review and uh, let you know what I think after using this for a couple weeks but that's just a quick first look of the UAG urban armor gear case for the Microsoft surface book as always thanks for watching um, we got about three more months left in Afghanistan so I'm still kind of short on making movies, but or not movies, but videos. But once I get back to the States, I'm going to uh, go full throttle on making more videos, doing more reviews, and uh, just kind of general tech vlogging. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.